Hey everybody, I'm on a little Kubota today. I'm hauling, that's a rear end for a dump truck. So I'm still trying to finish up that load of scrap metal. I'm gonna take it to Marmaduke today. Trying to make a little money out just a little bit of junk. But I thought I'd talk to you about tractor safety. Um, this little tractor right here, pretty small, pretty narrow, really easy to flip over. I flipped this thing over Labor Day of 2015. That's back before we even owned the tractor. And no, I didn't buy it right after that. It was about a year after that my dad purchased the tractor. So I wasn't the reason we bought it. Uh, but back on that, I was pulling up to a creek to get rid of uh, uh, some logs and stuff. And the ground came down in front of my right front tire right there and it rolled. Well, this tractor's equipped with a rollover protection bar. I wasn't wearing my seatbelt. I always thought, well, I'm young, I'm quick enough, I can jump off of this thing uh, quick enough where I wouldn't get smashed. Well, let me tell you, you're not fast enough. There's no way in the world you can jump off one of these when it's rolling over. I just had to hold on to the steering wheel and push myself down. When it rolled over, it threw me off the side. I had to crawl back over there and turn the tractor off. So always wear your seatbelt if it has a rollover protection bar. If you're in a cab, always wear your seatbelt. Now, a little backstory on this morning. So I checked uh, the, all the fluids in this tractor, checked the oil, all that kind of stuff. Make sure it was good before I even started it. Um, I knew I had a low tire, so I aired up that tire right there. Because I said, if you're not airing up tires, you're not an Arkansas farmer. Uh, so kind of a recap for today. Spent some time with the wife today. Uh, she's working closing shifts, so she doesn't go in until, well, yeah, she should be at work. Uh, had an interview with Region 8 News. Apparently somebody told them I was doing videos for my students for our alternative methods of instruction for this coronavirus deal. So that was kind of cool. First time being interviewed for the news. Uh, probably gonna sound like a country hick like you all all know. Some things I wanted to add that I didn't in there because I didn't get time to think about it was Yeah, I don't know. Now I forgot again. Oh. Yeah, I forgot again. Oh, how much I care about my kids and how this is not quality education. It's not. But I wanted to, you know, give you a little insight of what I do every day and, and my farm, how beautiful it is and wet and nasty it is. And I wanted to say how Arkansas farmers were still working. Like, we haven't quit. We're still working every day as hard as ever. The rain has us row croppers kind of put back. The cattle people are tired of feeding in the mud and you know just being a nasty mess every day. But we're still here. The supply chain's still going. And that's something else I wanted to hit on was when you're looking for a career, some of you that are getting ready to uh, you know go to work, go to college, find a career, is get you a job that's essential. See that over there? That's our big deer stand. Back on top. Look at these people that are still going to work. You know, these jobs that are deemed essential, you know, those ones in the medical career, uh, that medical field, the ones that have a medical career, like my wife, she's a pharmacist. Those nurses out there, doctors, all that kind of stuff, they are working hard every day and they're still getting paid. And also, truckers and those farmers and, and even teachers, or you're like, well, teachers are not working. Well, actually, we, we still are. I mean, we're still sending out alternative methods of instruction, so we're still working, we're still getting paid. Uh, some of our big manufacturer companies are deemed essential because they're still making products that we need every day to keep the supply chain going. So, you know, look at some of these things that have closed and realize, hey, do I want a job that I'm always gonna get a paycheck and I don't have to worry about? Yeah, I mean, I would. That's the reason I was you know, started to teach. I had a passion for students and also wanted a very stable job. See my tiller? That's what we till the garden with. So back on topic. I wanted a very stable job, and teaching was the job that I wanted because I wanted to teach kids and spread the word about agriculture and how, you know, I don't know if you heard this or not, but President Trump and Homeland Security deemed agriculture as a critical infrastructure during this time of need. So, hey, people are finally figuring out how important ag is. And I hope people are learning through this that, you know, your food doesn't come from a grocery store, it comes from a farmer. And 
yes there is a, a slight shortage in the supermarkets right now for some food over there's the bee house and the beekeeping area back on top of it. Uh, and the price of beef as far as the price of beef has went up like you find in stores but the price the farmer is getting is going way down it, it's not right it's not fair the cattle people are trying to band together and try to stop this because they're having to sell cattle for less than what they're worth right now and there's no beef in the stores so if you want beef i recommend you find a local producer they're all over facebook right now uh, friends that i have that are producing their own beef that are taking it to the slaughterhouse you're buying it live you take it to the slaughterhouse and or they'll arrange transport for you and you can get fresh beef that you know exactly where it came from, what farmer it come from, and all that kind of stuff. So, those are my helpful tips for today. Remember, track your safety, wear your seatbelt, check your fluids. Always keep, when you're carrying a load like this, keep it pretty low. I'm not carrying it way up over my head. I'm carrying it low. Uh, find you a job that's deemed essential. Get you a good paying job. And with that, hey, have a good day. Enjoy some fresh air.